So our footers are almost complete. We will be putting in rebar today. And we're going to be pouring the back half of our footers first. And then we'll pour the front half. The front half has a four foot down frost wall, so this way the cement truck can get in to the back wall. This is our Belco box. We just gotta put a, more, a few more braces on there. So you learn something new every day, and I learned how to tie rebar. So our rebar is all set. And ready for our pour. And again, we're just doing the back half. And then we'll do the front half. And when we got done with our rebar and had everything up there all set, we seeded some of our lawn to hopefully have beautiful grass. Still a lot to do, but a good start. So we poured our back footers yesterday. It was a little rainy and quite cold, but I think they turned out pretty good. My father was a concrete driver for most of my childhood, so I think watching him paid off. It was a fun experience. Um, we had the help of my stepfather and also our neighbor came over to help as well. So we have all of our verticals set as well. And then we have six pillars that go down the front um, as supports. So next we'll be digging out for the front footers. And again, that's gonna be a four foot frost wall since it's a walkout basement. And we'll have two steps down, step downs on either side, going down to that four foot. So that's what's next. <laughs> 